Two WSU football players are in Whitman County Jail for burglary. And an argument over a cigarette turns into a knife fight. Tonight, those stories and more as complete coverage of your local news starts right now. Three men are arrested in Spokane last night after a man was stabbed. Spokane police say the confrontation started when three men started insulting each other after one man asked for a cigarette. It eventually turned physical when a 24-year-old male pulled out a pocket knife, cut the shirt of one male, and stabbed the other in the back. Police located the suspect and the victims a short time later, but all the men tried to avoid police contact. Both victims have warrants out for their arrests and will both be booked. The stab wounds are not life-threatening. Summer has hit the inland northwest and it's no different here in Pullman. Warm temperatures mean it's perfect weather for summer barbecues and good music. The Summer Music and Barbecue Series is a joint effort between WSU Student Involvement and WSU Dining Services, which takes place every two weeks on Tuesdays. Student Entertainment Board Director Renee Dahlquist says the program is a unique way for people to have great food and enjoy the summer experience. It's nice out, people get a chance to just hang outside, grab some lunch, something a little different than what they're used to from the Cub because it's usually always just Carlitas, Panda Express, or um, Villa Pizza, so just kind of something different, more summery feel to it to get people to hang out outside and listen to some music. WSU grad student Rosie Ramondo says the summer weather serves as a nice backdrop for the barbecue and concert on campus. I think it's a great way to enjoy the campus. Uh, like Lisa said, it's a beautiful day and the Cub is a beautiful setting for this, so um, it's just a great way to, to get away from your office or from class or whatever it is you're doing. And, come out and take a quick break while you can in the good weather. SCB Director Dahlquist says great weather, music, and food make the summer music and barbecue series an event no one should miss. Just definitely come out. It's nice out, a little breezy usually, but really warm and the entertainment's good, the food's good, so why wouldn't people come out to see it? The WSU Summer Barbecue and Concert Series is a great way for both Pullman residents and WSU students to come out, enjoy great weather, and help take a bite out of some of that Pullman heat. For Cable 8 News, I'm Michael Pitt. Coming up, can Cougar baseball pull out a late season charge for the Pac-10 title? And will NFL fans be treated for more regular season football action? Find out more when Cable 8 News returns after the break. The WSU men's baseball team is looking for a strong finish with only four games left in the regular season. The Cougars will need to win two more Pac-10 games against the University of Washington to secure second place in the conference standings. WSU has an outside chance of tying for first place, but the Cougars will need to win the rest of their conference games, while Pac-10 leader Arizona State would need to lose its last three. Two more wins would guarantee the Cougars a 30-win season and an almost certain spot in the upcoming NCAA tournament. WSU baseball received a special honor yesterday as senior outfielder Jared Prince was named Pac-10 Player of the Week. Prince had a 478 batting average with a home run and 10 RBIs over the last six games and helped lead the Cougars to a 4-2 record over that stretch. This is Prince's first Pac-10 Player of the Week award and the second for WSU this season as freshman Derek Jones won the award in March. The Seattle Mariners had a chance last night to take a win from the Los Angeles Angels, but would they be able to seal the deal? The Mariners were up 4-1 after four innings, but the Angels fought back in the top of the fifth, scoring five runs and taking a 6-4 lead. The M's tried to rally back but fell short as the Angels win 10-6. This marks the Mariners' 11th loss out of the last 14 games. Plans for adding more regular season NFL games are being put on hold this week at the annual NFL Spring Meeting. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell says he doesn't anticipate a vote soon to lengthen the NFL regular season to either 17 or 18 games. Goodell says the decision won't be made until league officials speak with players in the next few months. The commissioner says a new schedule plan will eliminate two preseason games for each team and will add a game or two to the existing 16-game regular season. Well, that's it for sports. Stay tuned. Cable 8 News returns right after the break. The Whitman County Commissioner Greg Parch says the county could have an additional $1.9 million in the bank from unpaid tickets and fines. Parch says the almost $2 million could have been collected had the district court been able to collect penalties over the last decade. Parch says the unpaid dues would really help the county get out of the $250,000 deficit it now faces. The commissioner also says he hopes deals can be reached between counties and states, so counties won't have to carry outstanding debts on their balance sheets. Faculty, staff, students, and Pullman residents were all in attendance for this morning's announcement of WSU's budget plan for the next two years. 
University President Elson S. Floyd, as well as Provost and Executive Vice President Warwick M. Bailey, discussed the budget, which will be put into effect on July 1st. The two also answered questions from concerned members of the WSU community. Washington State University will cut nearly 360 vacant and currently filled jobs across the university and will employ several cost-saving measures, including three academic programs being cut, for a savings of nearly $54 million over the next two years. The three programs which will be cut include the Department of Theater and Dance, the German major, and the Department of Community and Rural Sociology. President Floyd says the decisions on the budget were very difficult, but the severity of the budget cuts offered no real alternatives. For KBL 8 News, I'm Michael Pitt. It's summertime at Pullman, and former high schoolers are touring the WSU campus. It can only be one time of year. The Alive Orientation Program is in full swing at Washington State. It's a way for this fall's incoming freshmen to get prepared for the change to college life. Orientation Coordinator Amanda Garcia says parents need to get ready for the college transition just as much as their children. The parents are a huge component of our program. We really want them to leave informed as well as their students. So parents who do come, they have their own workshops that they go through. We do separate parents and students at different parts in the program. And that's just so that way students can start learning some independence and being responsible for you know their own questions and things of that sort. The three-day program includes workshops and academic planning sessions for both students and parents as well as other presentations. One such presentation is Transitions. It's a set of skits put on by the Alive Orientation counselors, which help demonstrate and solve some of the personal, social, and emotional problems a first-year student faces. The last orientation day ends with a big send-off by the Alive staff. This includes a slideshow, the singing of the fight song, and even a dance competition to close the orientation. Orientation counselor Caitlin Gordon would like both students and parents to leave the Alive program feeling proud of their college decision. Well, first of all, I would really like the students and parents to leave feeling like they had a worthwhile experience, that they learned a lot, that it sticks in their mind, and that they had fun as well. But especially that they leave feeling comfortable and that they're super excited to come to Washington State, best school ever, and that they, they just feel that much more comfortable and that much more excited to start their college career here. The freshman orientation sessions are a great way for incoming freshmen to feel a sense of Cougar pride and feel alive with that sense of Cougar pride. From the Cub Auditorium on the WSU campus, I'm Michael Pitt for Cable 8 News.